In the summer of 1976, both of my parents were in Europe, and through a series of coincidences, um, my parents both ended up in the Barcelona airport at the same time. My mom was going through sort of a breakup, and she was weeping with her mother in the airport. And right at that moment, my dad was running through the airport and saw her crying with her mother and thought, my God, that woman is so beautiful. And his flight was called and he dashed off. When they landed in Madrid, my dad was walking down the aisle before the plane had even landed. And my mom was reading a book. And he saw, oh my gosh, it's the woman from the airport. And he stopped and he couldn't speak. And so he gestured and he said, you know. And my mom said, no, no, thank you. I'm just going to read my book till everyone's off the plane. He did it again, and she said, no, thank you, really. I, I'm, I'm just gonna stay here and read my book. And he says, oh, I'm so sorry to spoil your plans. And she thought it was so sweet and such a non-line that she burst into laughter and she got off the plane. And they happened to be sat next to each other all the way back to what was both of their hometown in San Francisco. And they fell in love on the plane. I love Joni Mitchell's A Case of You. Adele's cover of Make You Feel My Love, A Foggy Day by the Gershwins. Schumann's Frauenleben und Leben, it means a woman's love and life. It will be as time for the from Casablanca. My favorite love song, I think, is I Will by the Beatles. It's very simple, very understated, and I'll love you forever. It's a beautiful, beautiful sentiment. I think the most romantic meal is the one you make with someone you love. When I was in second grade, um, I got a note from a boy that had a crush on me asking me to go to Pizza Hut with him. And so I guess, in a silly way, one of the most romantic meals I've had is a little personal can pizza. Going out together, getting all the ingredients, and coming home and just opening up some wine, listening to some jazz, and just having a great night and just making your own feast. I like to do something kind of adventurous. I like to do something like walking or hiking. Our perfect date is going to some kind of event together and talking about it afterwards. My perfect date, I could answer in one word, carnival. I guess it would have to include uh, good food, music, and you know, be stress-free.